Yo, what's going on guys, it's Jordan here, and today I have the tutorial on how to earn a MOAB on the map of Resistance. Resistance was the most requested map from when I asked you guys what map I should do, so sit back and enjoy these tips. Okay, let's go you guys. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is a weapon selection and perk selection. I suggest your favorite assault rifle and whatever secondary, secondary machine pistol that you require. FMGs, MP9, whatever you want, it's up to you. Okay, your perk selections. I suggest that you, your main three perks, I suggest that you use, choose between either scavenger and sight of hand. I know most of you guys are going to be like, why choose sight of hand over scavenger when you can just put scavenger in your specialist pack? The reason for that is because if some of you guys out there have scavenger pro, it really does help because you know a player like me who rushes around once in a while or say often I run out of bullets a lot I shoot a lot of bullets and I want to conserve that you know if whenever I get into a tough battle say I end up in their spawn and I'm only having say a full clip and only 24 left over you know that's not gonna help me out you know I'm just gonna end up dying but <coughs> I do suggest that you guys use scavenger and I do suggest that you guys use Hardline and Marksman. Now, the reason for that is because Hardline, it gets you closer towards your next tier perk. And scaven and Marksman lets you see the enemy's name tags and far away. Now, my setup that I recommend if you guys are going to use the ACR, which is the Press and Extended Mag, I suggest Sight of Hand, Quick Draw, and Marksman. Now, you're... Specialist pack, I would suggest Scavenger, Stalker, and Blind Eye. Since Resistance is a long map, it's a wide open map, there's no need to run Assassin because even if they do spam the UAVs, there's no need for that because the map is large, the spawns are highly separated, you have enough time to escape. And most, most of the time, you're never going to be in their spawn alone, your teammate is going to beat it with you. Another thing, don't ever worry about, say, if they get an advanced UAV and you're stuck in their spawn. If you have a headset, call for your teammate. Call for assistance. Now, let's talk about where and where you guys are going to want to stay. Now, right now, you're just seeing it. I'm staying up on this hill right here by the A spawn. And you see that they're continuously spawning by the shop and they have nowhere else to spawn. The reason for that is because whenever you get A and C, they have nowhere else to spawn but in the shop and by B because they have B that's their only flag and I see that they really did fix the spawn by not letting them spawn in another home flag so I really do suggest that you guys get both the home flags which will you know get you put you guys put them in a spawn trap and enable you to get more kills <clears throat> sorry for my voice you guys I am a, I do have a small cold but it's getting better now another tip whenever you go down in the shop as you see I just did and whenever you go down in the shop and you're aiming down here, try to come as close as you can so that you're aiming right to the right of the door, but not so you're visible for snipers to just pick you off. Now, once if they do hit you and they don't get you a headshot, they will get a hit mark. It depends on whatever sniper they're using. If they're using a Barrett, it's a one-shot kill, you're going to die. So, you know, don't try to do that. And if you just stick by up this area right here and you're not playing against, you know, any tryhards or anything, you know, any, no one that's just going to want to mess up you. You will earn a MOAB like how I just did. And I strongly recommend that if you're going for a MOAB and you keep getting cut short of your specials package, don't get frustrated. You know, frustration could just make you not want, you make you want to try very hard, you know, become a tryhard. And whenever you become a tryhard, you're going to do good, but you're going to end up getting killed. You're going to get on a high kill streak, but you won't earn that MOAB unless, you know, you're just a super tryhard who does tryhard in, say, every match you go to, which is, defines me. Yeah, you because know, I like to win. You know, I don't, I hate losing, you know, I do play baseball, our baseball team do suck, and every after every each game, I do hate losing, I do get frustrated, you know, I just don't like to show it, because, you know, um, if I show it, you know, what's that going to do? You know, my frustration is not going to make my teammates want to do better, but, you know, let's get back to talking about the gameplay. You know, just don't try to get frustrated. 
Now another tip I can give you guys, whenever you see someone and they're running around the corner, if you know the area is wide open when they're running, don't chase after them. Never chase after someone running around the corner. You don't know what is around that corner waiting for you. Around that corner could be that same guy who probably seen you but decided to keep running. He probably would have turned around, laid prone, he's waiting for you to turn that corner, he's going to knife you. Or there's a sniper aiming at that particular spot by luck, you know, say, I'm going to check this corner and see if anyone's going to run around there. And boom, they just aim down, and you just run right around and one shot kill. You're dead. That's just going to end this streak, get you frustrated. As I said, you don't need frustration when you're going for a Moab. You need silence, good headsets, and the ability to hear the enemy's footsteps. <laughs> now... If you guys don't want to use Marksman, well, if you guys don't want to use Marksman as your main perk, I suggest you put Sit Ref and put Marksman at, say, if you guys don't want Blind Eye, put Marksman at your last perk for your Specialist Package. And you can just wait until you get your Specialist Bonus in order to get Stalker, because, you know, Stalker does help you aim down sight faster and move around the corners when you're aiming down sight, but you can hold that for that, because you're running Quick Draw, and that's going to help you aim around, aim real fast. The ability for sit rep is that sit rep lets you hear the enemy's footsteps louder with or without a headset. In order to get sit rep pro, all you have to do is get your portable radar, get the portable radar, and as soon as the game starts or as soon as you spawn, just put it down, knife it, destroy it, that counts. I think you have to do it around 30 or 40 times, I'm not really sure, you might have to go do some research on that. Now the video is coming, the game is coming to an end, and... I hope these tips really do help you guys. I know my previous two videos, I did get a little feedback from a lot of you guys. You know, that really does help me out. You know, that makes me feel good that I'm actually helping you guys instead of just posting gameplays where I'm getting tons of questions asking, you know, how do I get a Moab? What do I have to do to earn a Moab? Well, you know, I decided I'm going to start this series up just for you guys. So I hope this series helped you. And the Road to Moab series is back. I, re I did episode 6 on Saturday, as I promised. That video is up. If you guys missed it, you guys feel, feel free to browse through my channel and go check that out. And, you know, that's all I got to say. So, thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a like if you like the video. Favorite the video if you want to come back to it. You know, leave a feedback saying thank you. These tips help me out. And if this is your first time seeing this video and you really like these type of tips, I highly suggest you check out the two other episodes that I released. Um, one is on hard hat and the other one is on on the ground. Thank you for guys for watching the video and later.